And now, we turn our attention from the past toward the future. The Linus Pauling Institute is moving into a new era. The legacy of Baltz Fry will never be forgotten, but now we're in the hands of new stewards. All of the Institute today will forge ever forward and to give us a glimpse of the future of the Linus Pauling Institute, I'd like to invite our new director who starts January 1, 2018, Dr. Richard Van Bremen, to come up to the stage, tell us about your vision. I understand you've got a few slides up your sleeve. Welcome. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks, Marette, for organizing a fantastic uh, conference. Um, I know I'm the only thing standing between you and dessert, so <laughs> I, I don't want to dwell too long. But um, we've got a great facility, great building. Baltz Fry has definitely done a fantastic job bringing together a group of investigators developing the Linus Pauling Institute, um, helping to, with the support, of course, of all the friends of the LPI to, and the university, Oregon State, and all the donors to build a great building. Fred mentioned the word synergy a little earlier in his talk, and I think this is what this building helps to, to do for the LPI, bringing together a talented group of investigators, uh, junior investigators, students, visiting scholars, uh, staff, and together they can do a lot more together as a group than they could possibly carry out individually. And, and the building helps to coalesce this whole idea and create the synergy. Um, I want to uh, just reiterate the mission of the Linus Pauling Institute is threefold. Uh, of course, the basic science and the working as uh, we heard mechanisms of action uh, the, that drives the hypothesis-driven research that is essential to the basic science mission, understanding, did I do that with the, uh, oh well, okay, we got the right one. Uh, following up on the basic science and the mechanisms of action, we need to translate this, uh, these discoveries and, and research into uh, delivering health care, improving people's lives, and part of that is also the, the public outreach that we've already heard about tonight. So it's threefold, the basic science, mechanism of action driven, translating this research and, and sharing it with the public and with healthcare providers so that uh, the vision of Linus Pauling in, in promoting optimal health and uh, healthful aging can be shared with everybody. And so we'll all be better off. I, I searched long and hard on the internet for pictures of the Linus Pauling Institute group. Uh, this is the only one I could find, actually, on the internet. So that's one of the things I want to change in the future. I want to have the whole, the whole team and in pictures to share. Uh, I had a great chance to sit down with Donald Reed today, who uh, was the first leader or director of the Linus Pauling Institute, and he shared with me some of his ideas uh, both past and present, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, Baltz and I are going to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk next, so I'll, I'll learn a lot more from him, as much as I possibly can. Uh, I want to also acknowledge, in between Baltz and me has been Fred Stevens. And, and Fred, I want to thank you for doing a great job as the interim director. <laughs> Donald and, and Baltz uh, did a great job getting the institute going. Uh, Fred did a great job presenting it to me. In, as, well, my mother always taught me when you're staying with somebody to leave the house in a better shape than you found it. And Fred, thank you very much. You've, you've improved things already, so thank you. Since I couldn't find a picture of the whole LPI team that's current, I thought I'd show a picture from the first of the uh, Diet and Optimum Health Conference meetings, 
which uh, back in 1991 was held up in Portland. Uh, this is my one wordy slide. So what I think is key to the future of the LPI is goes with this idea of synergy, but a collaborative effort. And it's collaborative not just between the faculty. We want to go outside the LPI and bring in involved faculty from the other units of the university. We need a cross interdisciplinary effort. We want to go beyond the walls of OSU and involve other institutions. Uh, we want to collaborate with industry, with trade organizations. Uh, we want to translate this work and work together with clinical partners, both uh, within Corvallis and beyond Corvallis to Portland and, and even outside. I, I see the idea of the LPI becoming a world, well, it already is a world-class organization, but I want to do my best to promote its, its image and its impact by deriving a collaborative effort that will make it even perhaps better, uh, more influential in, in promoting human health than it, than it has been thus far. And I'm going to do my best to keep that effort moving in, in a very positive direction. I, I think my final slide, I want to talk about uh, the educational mission of the LPI. It's a, certainly it's a research institute, but all the faculty train graduate students, and we train uh, undergraduate students, and we have visiting scholars and postdoctoral fellows, and each faculty member can train a couple students and send them on their way each year. And in a career, you might graduate 100. Uh, by adding 12 principal investigators, that becomes 1,200. By adding junior or adjunct faculty and working in a collaborative effort, we can educate new generations, and I mean multiple generations of experts to promote optimal health and, and healthful aging. And so and that's my closing effort, uh, collaborative, collaborative work, synergy, and, and education for the future. And so thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to lead the LPI. It is a tremendous honor. Fred tried to recruit me many years, uh, maybe the last 12 years. He had me out a few times. Waltz Fry had me out to give a seminar to the Linus Pauling Institute. You gave me a nice shirt when I was here. It has this Linus Pauling Institute. I started wearing that at all the public events in, in Chicago. So I'm getting a lot of comments about that now. <laughs> and people will do a double take and they'll say, oh, that says Linus Pauling Institute on it. Aren't you going to be moving there soon? So thank you very much for that and the opportunities to visit Corvallis and get to know you a little bit over the years. So the decision to come here was uh, just an easy one. My, my wife is now saying, why didn't we move sooner? So uh, we're both looking forward to joining Oregon State in, in the new year. And thank you very much. Oh. And I want to thank Joanne Facey and the, uh, oh, for this donation of this fabulous painting and the, uh, Gershon Benjamin Foundation for their support, their continuing support of uh, the Linus Pauling Institute and the university. So thank you for this gorgeous donation.